Welcome back. Super excited. I hope you guys are enjoying the course and working through all of these lectures step by step. And I'm sure you're enjoying the hands-on experience as well. Let me know if there's another topic that you wish to explore. I'll be more than happy to note it down for the next round of course updates. We regularly update our courses so that you get the best of the best learning experiences. And of course, any questions, we're always there 24-7 for you. Let me walk you through the sections of this particular uh, section one, which is deployment. And of course, other sections as well as we move along. But this particular section is section one, which is deployment. In fact, I'm going to go through all of the five sections uh, for each of the sections or each of the lectures or before all of these lectures. So you get a logical order as you progress through the lectures. So the AWS Certified Developer Associate DDA 601 examination is basically a pass or fail exam. The exam is scored against the minimum standard established by AWS professionals, guided by certification industry best practices and guidelines. So the score, of course, you already may know, is from 100 to 1000 with a minimum passing score of 720. So your score shows how you performed on the exam as a whole and whether or not you passed. So the first domain is deployment, which is about 22% of the examination. So what is actually deployment, right? So we'll be covering in the followed or subsequent lectures, deploy written code in AWS using existing CI CD pipeline, which is continuous integration and continuous development pipelines, which is really the concept of the entire DevOps lifecycle processes and patterns. And then we'll get into the deploying of applications using Elastic Beanstalk. So we'll deploy Java applications, we'll deploy Python based applications, we'll deploy PHP based applications. So there's multiple ways or different types of applications that you will deploy across the pipeline, including QA testing as well. Next, we're going to take a look at the uh, preparing your application deployment package to be deployed to AWS. Deploy serverless applications is also part of domain one, which is deployment, right? And serverless applications are using the SAM template, right? Um, and other code like cloud formation, infrastructure as a code, so you get comfortable as a developer associate working with this particular domain. So domain two is security. You learn how to make authenticated calls to the AWS services, implement KMS encryption, work with AWS Cognito, Secrets Manager, and other services and also implement application authentication and authorization. And then domain three is development with AWS services. Write a little bit of shell scripts for serverless applications, work with CloudFormation templates, be able to write a CloudFormation template, translate functional requirements into application design. So this is important for developer associate. Also learn how to implement application design into application code and then write code that interacts with AWS services by using APIs, SDKs, AWS CLI, and so on. So, of course, the idea is not that you need to know a programming language, okay? And, of course, we are going to provide you with Python Intro and Python Advanced, the entire uh, concepts of object-oriented programming as well. So, you not only get comfortable with this particular aspect, right, or prepare for this exam, but also learn additional lectures and additional concepts and applications. This is domain four, refactoring, which is simply how to optimize application to the best AWS services and features, migrate existing application code to run on AWS. So this is all about how to handle or migrate your applications from on-premise to the AWS cloud, for example. And finally, domain five is monitoring and troubleshooting. You ought to know how to write code that can be monitored, perform root cause analysis on faults troubleshooting found in both testing environments or production environments. So now that you have seen the entire domain areas that we'll be focusing on, right? But not just that, of course, we're going to cover DevOps extensively so that you're comfortable with not only just deploying applications, but actually understand the life cycle, the software development life cycle, including working with Python fundamentals, which is later on towards the end of the actual course itself. Now, this is a large course, so bear with me on this. Walk through each lecture, ask questions, go through all of the concepts. If you can't find a topic, just reach out, and that's the best way to learn. So I hope this helps. So I'm super excited. Let's get ready. Let's move on to our next lecture.